Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to combine columns and rows of a table in LaTeX. While doing that I will use multi-column and multi-row commands. Here I already created a table for you. I will modify this table to combine some columns and rows. If you want to learn more about creating a table, I recommend you watch our video by clicking the link above. Let's get started with combining columns. For that, we can use multi-column command. So uh, I want to add another row at the top, which will combine three columns. Let's write multi-column, and it takes three inputs. The first input is the number of columns that I want to combine. For example, here, let's say three. And then in the second input, we specify the, uh, whether the column will be centered, right justified or left justified. Let's say that it's uh, centered by writing down C and the last argument, the last input is what we want to write down as the text. So I can say main heading. Then I am adding double backslash to create this new row. And notice that now we have main heading at the top and it's centered. If you want to add some vertical lines, we can use pipe symbols. I just added pipes at the beginning and at the of the C, so it created the vertical. It just expands the vertical lines. And we can also add a horizontal line, and to do that, we are using H line at the top. So, this is how we can combine columns. We just use multi column, and it doesn't require any package. If we want to combine rows, then we require a package and we need to load a multi-row package and to do that we, we say use package command and let's say multi-row and here I just want to combine entry 1 and entry 4 so there will be just one row for that purpose instead of entry 1 let's write multi-row command and first it takes an optional argument in a square brackets and we specify whether the position of the text will be centered, vertical centered or top alignment or bottom alignment. For example, let's say that C, so it will be centered vertically. Then we provide the number of rows I want to combine and let's say it's four, two and then we specify the width so we can write them for example one example we can just give an input as a length or we can just say aesthetics so it will adjust the width and then we specify what the text will appear there and let's say combined entry when i uh, compile you see that the entry 4 is still there so I just need to delete it it will disappear but now we have a line here so this is the horizontal line just passing through the combined entry and to remove it we can use uh, so this line just causes if I remove it it will remove that horizontal line but as you can see from the second and third row we also lost the line so if you want to keep it for those rows you can use c line command and we specify it will start from the second column and it will end in the third column okay so also you can change c to b to move to combine entry to the bottom or you can just use t to move it to the top you can basically modify the vertical position by using this optional argument. And instead of aesthetics, we can also specify, for example, let's say it will be 1.5 centimeter. Then the first column will be 1.5 centimeter and it will just shift the entry to second line. Okay, but let's use aesthetics instead. So this is basically how we use uh, multi-column and multi-row for tables. Please let me know if you have any question. I hope that the video was helpful. 
Uh, hope to see you in the next videos.